Okay, so I'm with the lovely Sarah today, who I had the pleasure of working um, with through lockdown, and we managed to secure her a new role as a Scrum Master, um, and I thought it'd be really good to have a short interview with Sarah to go through her experience of gaining the job through COVID. So thank you, Sarah, and welcome. How are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Doing well in this lovely weather, so hopefully I'll get some garden time today. <laughs> very, very hot this week, isn't it? <laughs> I know. I bet it's hotter where you are because you're in London, aren't you? Yeah, it's about 31 degrees, I think it's going to be today. Wow. The dogs don't quite like it, but I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely get outside. <laughs> um, so thank you very much um, for having a chat with me. I just really wanted to go through um, your experience. So um, when you first started looking for a new role, COVID hit as well. So what were your initial thoughts about that? Um, so at first I didn't think too much about it. I thought I'd just carry on looking for jobs and stuff like that. Mm. Um, I was in contact with you just before lockdown hit and we were talking about the job that I'm in now. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Yay. But then I started to get a little bit worried because I got offered the job, obviously, during lockdown. I did all my interviews during lockdown. And then I started to get a little bit worried because I was hearing all these stories about people who had been offered jobs and then their contracts were taken away from them and then they were left jobless and they couldn't go back into their last one. They couldn't be furloughed and anything like that. But luckily I, we, were, we found such a nice company and I was very fortunate to be able to start a job within lockdown. Yeah. So and, bad, they put my fears to rest. <laughs> I was going to say they weren't affected at all by COVID and they did a lot of recruitment. So I think it was the reassurance for you, wasn't it, through ourselves and also yeah. from the company um you know it, it is awful when people do have their contracts retracted and i'm yeah. just thankful that it, you know we have a company that could onboard you as well so um so how i mean how did you find the market when it went into lockdown did it just shut it's, down you had no yeah, a little bit, yeah um there wasn't as many jobs going around people sort of stopped interviewing um i think i had a couple of interviews lined up and they were just like we just recruitment freeze so we can't hire anyone i've got friends that were looking for jobs as well and they've not been as lucky as me and they've not actually been able to find anything because there's just it sort of stopped a little bit but it seems to be picking up again now mm, which is good so at the time you said earlier you were doing recruitment yourself and found it a bit of a, <laughs> a job in itself really trying to find your own role yeah so I, I, when I used to work at British Gas, one of the colleagues that I was working with, she said, finding a job is a full-time job within itself. And I was like, no, it wouldn't be that bad. But <laughs> it actually is. As soon as you start looking on job websites and there's so many job descriptions and then they're all on different websites as well. And you've got to try and remember who you applied for and you've got to tailor your CV to fit the job description. And it's just, most of the time you don't even hear anything either. Occasionally you'll get the, the one person that contacts you about it, but going for an agency is just so much easier yeah so you, were, you were working with a couple of agencies then when you at the time yeah yeah um so the people who got me my last two jobs i contacted them as well as soon as i started looking for a new job um but i think there wasn't anything around london at the time and then luckily i got in contact with you <laughs> and then <laughs> we got your job <laughs> got your job yes <laughs> So, I mean, you've used agencies, like you said previously, in, for your past two roles. So, how have you found using an agency? What do you like and what don't you like about them? So, I love using agencies because you guys get to know the companies, you get all these little tips and tricks, like you're very reassuring. Um, but then, one of the things I don't like about using agencies is in the past, before I've had, not all the time, it's only with some agencies I've had where they contacted me, we've had an initial interview. Um, they've gone away and gone, okay, we'll send your CV off to them. And then you don't hear anything ever again. And it's like, oh, did you, really? in did you not? But it's, it would just be nice if they would have just come back and said, look, it didn't quite work out. But working with agencies, you take the stress off. You, you do all the hard work for you. You come back to us. You talk to us constantly. And it's really nice. I know that we had a few conversations before my interview. And we spoke through how things were going to go. And you always made yep. sure I was okay and checked up on me afterwards. And it's just nice just to have that bit of reassurance did we have a video interview as well a video chat before you had your video yeah, interview with them as well. yeah. <laughs> and how are you finding video chatting because obviously it's the, it's the way forward now isn't it not too bad not too bad i've got to remember to look at the camera because obviously the cameras are at the top and <laughs> i look at people on the screen instead but it's not too bad i'm getting kind of used to it now everything's sort of been over over zoom so mm. i quite like it 
but I do miss being in the office. I was about to say that as well because you haven't been in the office. You haven't actually physically met anyone. It's all been through video. So what has that experience been like compared to the, you know, the other jobs that you've secured interviewing? Uh, I think it's tough and it's definitely a leap of faith because obviously my initial interview, which was a telephone call, was done over a phone, obviously. And then my second one, which was meant to be a face to face, was done again over Zoom. Mm-hmm. Whereas normally I'd be going into the office and meeting people, getting a look around. But I've, I've not been in the office. I've not met any of the people that I'm going to be, what well, that I am working with. It's all just been over the call. But And it's tough because as my role of a scrum master, I should be with people. I should be sat with the teams and we're trying to do it all over the phone. And it's, it's definitely been a lot harder to pick things up. But I've got such a great team and they, they've made it enjoyable. I bet you can't wait to go in, can you? It'd be like your first day all over again, won't yeah. it? <laughs> my team don't quite like putting their videos on either, so some of them I've not even seen yet, so I'm going to go in the office and be like, who, who, who? <laughs> I recognise the voice, who is it? <laughs> oh, no, that's brilliant. So um, thank you very much for your time. I know you're really busy as well. So um, what I'll do is I'll upload this to LinkedIn, and if anyone wants to get in contact with Sarah, she is more than happy to help you and give you some advice about finding a job through COVID. So thank you, Sarah. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Take care. Bye.